वेलकम व्यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट डैमी अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी वो यू आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्लानिंग इंजीनियर्स क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव वट इज अ सी पी एम स्केजुअल आंसर क्रिटिकल पाथ मैथडोलॉजी सी पी एम और यू कैन से यू कैन नेम इट एज क्रिटिकल पाथ मैथड is one of the most popular technique in the construction industry as it uses a mathematic algorithm which helps to find out major critical jobs or any project schedule forward pass calculates the early dates and backward pass calculates the late dates to all the activities early dates represents the most optimistic start and end dates of any project schedule on the other end late dates give the idea that latest your activity can be started and finish without impacting the project finish date question number 56 is critical path the longest or shortest answer critical path is the longest continuous chain of activities it is the longest in term of path and shortest in term of duration to complete a project from start to finish than any other complete path on a, a schedule the longest path is for a project in its network from start to finish and the total duration is longer than any other path on that particular network the critical path is a path where you have critical activities defined on a project schedule the critical path establishes minimum project duration and longest path control projects early completion question number 57 If you had to rate your Primavera P6 skill from one to ten, how would you rate it? Answer: Well, as you know, Primavera P6 is a powerful and versatile software, but I would rate myself six or seven as compared to my working colleagues. Question number fifty-eight: How do you spend the most time doing each day? answer i use some facebook a lot kidding on a normal day i used to review reports of contractors site engineers clients comments and implementations daily construction meetings and prepare minutes of meeting m1 and send a summary to the stakeholders question number 59 what is the revised plan and how it differs from the recovery plan answer if we get any change in scope change order or claim that may lead to a change in finish date either positive or negative in recovery plan that finish date is fixed question number 60 what is lead and lag in primavera p6 answer both are time duration that we can put to wait or accelerate the successor activity a lag is a lazy start and lead in an acceleration for the successor activity a lead is just a negative lag question number 61 what is fast tracking and crashing answer both are schedule comparison techniques once a project plan is lagging behind then we are asked to make a recovery plan in the recovery plan we use these techniques our technique in fast tracking we put activities in parallel this increases the risk but in crashing we add more resources to cover up the lag this is not risky but you need more budget in this scenario make sure if you need to accelerate because of the other party like client side then being a contractor always make sure to claim acceleration cost that may have a high unit rate than in the actual contract question number 62 differentiate between gantt chart and network diagram answer both are project management tools that helps the team to see the project in a glaze 
Gantt chart displays activities, tasks, events, plot against time. It gives information like activities start and finish, our labs among activities start and end at the WBS level and the whole project as summary bars. Length of the pro bars represents the duration of any particular activity or task. Network diagram explains the linkage of activities that helps to understand the flow of work. Question number 63. How much float is allowable in any plan? Answer, there is no hard and fast tool for this, but as thumb rule, they say 10% of the total project is allowed. For example, if the total duration is 300 days, then 30 days float is okay to go. If it's higher, then you need to adjust your P6 logic to increase it to the optimum required level. By the way, it depends on project to project. Question number 64. How much lag is allowed in any plan? Answer, lag is undesirable in a plan. So does the lead, but sometimes lag is allowed, but they say for any activity it should be less than half of the total duration of that activity. For example, if the duration of any activity is 14 days, then the lag should be less than 7 days. Long lags are higher undesirable. You can adjust by proper logic during sequencing activities. Question number 65. New project manager did not like you define WBS in the approved plan. What you will do now? Answer. No problem. I will use activity codes function in parameter P6 to get the desired one for any division he or she likes. Question number 66. What information is of your concern in a project card charter? Answer. Project charter contains a high level of concise information about project like project scope, governance, timeline, budget, constraints and risks. It should be a minimum of six pages. Document is important for the team to read and grab all the information included in there. Question number 67. What is difference between earned man hour and actual man hours? Answer. The earned man hour is the original estimate. The actual is the final cost of that project. For example, let's say we have to build a wall through masonry block work. We estimated that it needs 100 man hour only. If we hire four masons and they finish the first shift of 10 hours and report that 25% of work is done overall, in this case they spend 40 man hours, the actual hour and 44, 25 hours, 25% 25 of 100 is the earned man hours. Question number 68. How you compare, compares, how you compress, make recovery a uh, schedule in Primavera P6? Answer. First of all, I insert the column to see the total float. Then try to find the logics so that I can reduce the float. I have options like to make activities in parallel, fast tracking, otherwise I filter the critical path, reduce the duration of activities on the critical path, again filter the critical path and reduce the duration again as path may change now. Apply the same steps until the required compression is got. This is called crashing as here we need to add resources to get the job done. This can be used for recovery plan, mitigation plan, acceleration, etc. Whatever is the name in recovery plan, the project end date is fixed. Make sure to align your team before performing any procedure. Question number 69. Why planning is important in any project? Answer. Planning or the initiation phases are very prone to risk it not done in a proper way then the outcome 
on that particular project may be a diuretics one below the graph is clear example so this is our today's content thanks for watching softy dami we will meet a next session a next part part number the next one you can see below after this number thanks for watching softy dami we will meet in a next video with the same part in part